Burt Reynolds. I know, I know, I know, I know. He never did much for me in real life, but in my dreams, it was always Burt and I, Burt and I, Burt and I. <laughs> it was always the same general dream. We'd be out, Burt and I, at one of those restaurants, like the kind you see in Atlantic City, you know, with the big chandeliers and the thousands of waiters running around in their little vests. <laughs> He would give me a orchid corsage and plant it on my blazer. We'd laugh. We were always laughing, Bert and I laugh and laugh and laugh. And we'd eat shrimp cocktail. A huge shrimp, fabulous shrimp. We'd laugh more. We were very happy together. And then, in the middle of the restaurant, he would take me into his arms, look deep into my eyes, and write as we were about to kiss. The walls of the restaurant would start to shake. Pigeons would fly out from me from underneath the table. I do not know how those pigeons got there in the first place. And the flood would come pouring out of me. It would pour and pour and pour, and it would flood the entire restaurant. And Bert would stand there, waist deep in my flood, looking at all the little boats and tiny fish that had come with it, horribly, horribly disappointed that I'd gone and done it again, and horrified as his friends, you know, Dean Martin and the like, swam past in their tuxedos and evening gowns. <laughs> yeah, I do not have those dreams anymore. <laughs> that ever since they took out everything connected with down there, the uterus, the tube, the whole works. My doctor thought he was being funny when he looked at me and he said, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> really, I found out it was just cancer. <laughs> you had to take out everything connected with down there. Yeah, who needs it? Highly overrated. I've done better things. I love the blood shows. I sell antiques. What? What would it wear? What kind of question is that? What would it wear? It would wear a sign, a big sign, that says, Close due to flooding. <laughs> <laughs> what would it say? I told you, it's not like that. It's not a thing that speaks. It stopped being that a long time ago. <coughs> yeah, it's a place, a place you don't go. It's under the house. It's locked up. It's down there. You happy? We are no lady, an old fart like me, to talk about her down there. You happy? You feel better now? <laughs> you know, this is the first time I've ever talked about it with anyone, and uh, I do feel a little better. <laughs>